Hey everybody! Welcome back, Ursula. Yeah, thank you. I'm fully recovered now. Thank I'm you. as good as new. Yeah, good as new and ready to rock, so let's do this. Okay guys, this week we're going to talk about technology and how China is pretty much leading the way in terms of technology and adopting technology into its everyday life. We're not only eight hours ahead we are also light years ahead technology yeah. wise when we came to China I didn't really this was like almost 10 years ago remember I don't think China was that technologically advanced back then was it no it was not things were a lot more basic but it went really quick it went really quick if you look at this four years ago I was still using this this was my cell phone four years wow, ago Wow, that's cool I guess you cannot get a WeChat or no. any internet access. Because on nowadays you need your phone for everything to pay bills, pay the cinema, pay pay anything, right? Yeah. Yeah. You really need your phone. You can see some QR code action here. There's also the face recognition. Face recognition, no thanks. So you get a code? And then you scan it on the machine and now you pay. Wow, so quick and easy. So quick, if you have Wi-Fi. Uh, I guess you can do it in cash. Cash? Gross! No one wants to hold cash anymore. Just the other day, right, you tried to pay something with cash. The guy like looked at the note in Ursula's hand like as if she was holding a, a python or something, a right? Yeah. A python turd. You decide. But anyway, you had a cool looking phone like this, and it was only four or five years ago. And then, you know, it came to the point where, you look, you just got to get a smartphone, or you basically persona non grata, right? Now it's gone so far over the edge that it's, there's no way back, there's no turning back. We are heading towards, you know, Terminator 2 Judgment Day style robots nuking the whole of the world situation here. This is the beginning, the, the switch from a cool little phone to everything being on your phone, right? Everything. Picture the scene, right? You're going into a restaurant with your wife. You sit down, the waiter or waitress brings the menu. You open the menu. You're looking at the menu, you're looking at the picture. It's part of the experience, Part of the right? experience. Hey, look at this. Oh, oh. And nice the, menu design. Yeah. The, the waitress will come or the waitress will say like, Hello sir, madame, well, mom, how are you doing? <laughs> Jesus, what year do you live in? <laughs> 1995, man. Just say yeah. like, hey, how are you doing? And you say, yeah, very And you can say to the lady, mm, do you have any specials today? Or would, is there anything you would recommend? You've ever said that? Anyway, I'm sidetracked. So that's a nice experience. You can forget that now. You can forget it. You can almost 80% be certain that when more, you go, more than yeah, when you go to a restaurant now, in China, in China, I don't know how hard it is back home, guys. I've not been to a restaurant for a while back home, but you walk in, and you have to scan a QR code on your table or somewhere, and then you have to look at your phone, scroll through the menu. Like this just to interrupt you. So if you scan the menu from the QR code, the pictures of the menu are gonna be tiny very tiny you'll have like three pictures four pictures in a row even there's no way to zoom it in that's just how their menu is we cannot read Chinese so we depend on the pictures to know what we're eating so if you can't zoom in and you can't read what it is and you just see a little blurry chicken claw but it could be something else there goes your dinner experience We don't have 4G, 3G, 2G, We're, we have OG. We are OG. We are OG. So we rely on Wi-Fi. So you, you can imagine there's a whole myriad of problems there because of technology making things more difficult and complicated. I thought the idea of technology was to make things simpler and better. In the restaurant, no, it doesn't work. It's better before. So if there's any restaurateurs listening, stick with the menu. Okay. 
Hey guys, can you remember back in the olden days when you order something, you want a package or a delivery, usually someone brings it to your door, right? Knocks on the door and says, hey, here's your package. And leaves it on your doorstep. Well, those days are gone, Gramps. If you get a package now, here in the future, the package is deposited in these boxes. And you have to use your phone to open them. Of course, you have to use your phone. Get a code, come downstairs all the way from the 30th floor, you come all the way down again, you have to do the work. No more postman coming to your door. Not in the future. And guess what? Look here. Say cheese. You're gonna get your face and your body and your information photographed, filmed, scanned, whatever. So that's the future, folks. China is really a techno-centric country. I mean, you only have to look around the cities, the infrastructure in the cities to see that they are always about the new and modern things, right? I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me. And I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow to happen. When I go back to England, or I go to a European country, it's like going back in time. Yeah, it's like going back in time and sometimes that's great because I love old old stuff, you know, castles and old buildings and but mansions and but, like the road that has like cobblestones. Cobblestones, you know, of course I love all of that stuff, don't get me wrong, but when you come to China it's like stepping into the future, man. The cities are like something out of Blade Runner. They're lined with neon, there's lights everywhere. You can just see by the way the, the country and the city and the trains, for example. You go on a train in China, it's like, wow, that's future. Mm -hmm. You go on a train in, in England, man, it's, it's like, like choo choo, Thomas <laughs> Tank Engine or something. <laughs> right? And as a station, a train, train station, station looks like you're just stepped into a UFO. Yeah. I don't know what you think about China, but it's really like on the cutting edge of technology. I and bet design. you, whatever you're thinking, it's the opposite. Probably. Probably. Man, we we're watching China change a little bit, I think, from becoming like when we came, it just seemed like it was. It was OG. It was OG like us. Once saw uh, some uh, some granny, he had toad, yeah. which was his dinner, and he just cut his head off with scissors above the bin. That's the level probably, that we came into. Probably you still you get, don't have that. I don't see that anymore. No. Now, we're almost 10 years later, it's like Tron. You know, it's like we're and we're still OG. We're still, we're <laughs> gonna stay OG, that's just how it is. So just for fun, because our kids have grown up here in China, right, where, like I said, it's like super technology place. I wanted to show the kids some of the old technology from back in the day when we were kids in the 80s and 90s. Hi, my name's Didi, and this is my brother, but he's wearing a Darth Vader mask. <laughs> what do you think this is? <coughs> a radio box. <laughs> It looks like a piano radio box. It looks like where you keep tiny pictures in. Oh, it looks like a telephone box! CD player. Yeah. Very good. A, a telephone box! Telephone! Very good. A radio! A radio! Remote control, you know, it's that, that's the remote control they play the game. <laughs> 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 
looks like a bit like a passport. <laughs> For sure, it's more like the 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 baskets that you put Eight. the DVDs in. <coughs> Here's a credit card. A credit card. Oh, this is the this is the little game. That's the little game. That's, That's the little, little game. Yeah. CDs. CDs. <coughs> That's for you know playing the music. Why are they so black? Cause it's. It is black, it was in the 80s. Mm. Oh, in the 80s is a CD black. CDs in the 80s, CDs in the 80s, 80, 80, 80, 80. Mm. It's the one, it's the one. <laughs> that was the one that maybe he makes the music. Yeah. yeah. It's the one that maybe makes the music. Yeah. What do you do with it? Um, I you don't know, maybe like listen to what it says inside. Da, 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 da. That is, it looks weird. That looks weird. It looks like a you know, it looks like, like a keychain. A little bit like a keychain game. Mm -hmm. Keychain game, that's a good one. It's, it's a telephone! It's a telephone! It's the one that. So why is it so big? That's because it's from the olden days. Creepy technology thing is the space recognition technology which China is. Yeah, that's why I walk like this. <laughs> yeah. So that's why I was. Whenever I cross a red light, I do this, so they can't catch me. <laughs> yeah, but this face technology stuff is like I am. I'm tapped out. I am tapped out. Way before face technology, but when it, oh, I'm I'm standing on that precipice. Face technology is behind me. I'm jumping over that cliff, man. I ain't getting into that. That's. They already got you. What are you no, talking about? No, I don't have no. They don't have me, they don't have me. I've not, I've not signed up for any, well, I've not willingly signed up for any face technology. Did you know that uh, whenever you get a uh, package out of the box, mm -hmm. four pictures are taken of your face? Really? Yes. How many packages do we get a day? How many pictures? I wonder why a... you were typing in <laughs> package <laughs> code like that. I thought you were having a fit. I just go like this, put the code in. But another great thing about technology is that all the mopeds are electronic. You can mm -hmm. just charge them and again with your phone, you scan the QR code and you can charge your bike outside at yeah. a charging point. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. And that's, that's really good. The cars too, like more and more cars here in China are electric. And buses, all the buses I think, are. I think now, I think, at least in Shenzhen. I think pretty much all the buses are electric, so I mean this is this is kind of cool, right? Yeah. I mean, oh, hi guys. Can you remember when you used to have a car and you used to go to the petrol station to fill it up with petrol? Those days are gone, Gramps. Now you park your car here, plug it in, just like you would an electronic device, and you charge it. And if you can't afford a big, ugly white electric car then you can park your electronic bike here charge it overnight so you have enough juice to get to your work tomorrow and of course it has a QR code scan the QR code for everything here in the future I hope you enjoyed that show So we can tell you it. If someone has very special dance.